This is ridiculous. This is my old motherboard. I've had it for five years. As you can tell, there's nothing in it. That's because I have recently received a brand new motherboard from B&H. Now why did I need this motherboard? Well, the processor that I had was 3.2 gigahertz. And somehow I was able to make this thing work with every little bit of energy it had left in its four-year-old architecture. Now I have a much better processor, which I'll talk about in another video. But assembling this thing, well, not this thing, the new thing, it's much more shiny. And it has a lot of really fancy colors. Assembling a motherboard for the first time can be a pretty daunting process. So I've sped up what took me a unreasonable amount of time into a span of six minutes for your viewing enjoyment. When you start looking for a new CPU, the first thing you should look for is the socket type of the CPU in question. For Intel, the brand of both my old and new processors, my old motherboard ran off of an old generation of an LGA 1150 socket. More relevant models will run off of an 1151 socket. Look for that number under your motherboard purchase and processor purchase. We took off our socks and assembled the PC on a tile floor, as opposed to a carpet one to avoid static electricity buildup. Some swear by using an anti-static wristband when working with computer parts. You can clearly see that we did not. We had no issues, but venture at your own risk. This might be the first time you've opened up your PC case in a while, so spraying it down with a can of compressed air is recommended. Just don't ice yourself. <laughs> On the plug, yo, da -na 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 -na. and now I want. Ah, oh my god! I don't know what to say either, and I'm not gonna say it. Yeah. Um, so we got the uh, board here. Um, obviously, it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass to put it in here. <laughs> so, um, you know, you want to be really careful because, you know, this is very thin, very, I don't know, I don't know how to fucking do calm shit. <laughs> calm shit? That's what you call it. That's what he calls it. Here's the new... Please turn it <laughs> off. Is it just like a... Can you spray it off? Yeah, well, no. I know this one you don't just rip off. As opposed to most computers where you just rip things off. Yeah, I mean... As with Derek You should have seen me in Parker. <laughs> right there. But... As you can see... It's, it's not going. <laughs> As you can see, it's currently in its uh, <laughs> wrapper. So we can't do that yet. But once we take it out, then we can. Boom. All right, it's in. You're good. Might as well boot it up right now, bro. Oh, all right, cool. Let's get, let's get it set up. <laughs> so, good news. The motherboard went in. Yes. Bad news. I got... Maybe if we put two of them together, like, <laughs> and we just, we just... I got... Laptop RAM. <laughs> I got the Ron RAM stick. Got the power of God and anime on my side, bitch. Yeah. My, my stick's too small, so I got some bigger sticks. Yeah, my scissors um, actually. This this is. Um, well, that oh the anime the, the anime yeah. knife won't won't do it. There's you know there's not a lot of things that I thought you had the power of God and anime on your side <laughs> with with anime and God. But, uh, <laughs> scissors, not quite the uh, tool I'd usually go with, but there we go. And now Did I you cut the cable? Oh my god! I'm just kidding, <laughs> dude. You actually scared the shit. <laughs> this is the processor, i5. Um, <clears throat> Gen gentlemen, 8600K, 3.6 gigahertz, 3.6 gigahertz clock speed. Which is a lot faster than 3.3, .3, which was the old one. It's it's real gaming speed is what that is, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> it's real gamer hours. So, another Please thing. rise for the Gamer National Anthem. Oh, like I wish we could play RAM. that right now. So, gaming RAM? I have gaming, gaming RAM right here. Uh, 
Yes. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Right. Oh, this is also I like for to... my gaming laptop, my gaming Chromebook. And um, yeah, I, I forgot. Yeah, it's a Chromebook. Uh, but I like to call this RAM that Greg purchased from Best Buy. Yeah, you know, he picks one. Um, I like to call it spaceship RAM. Weird because, flex, but okay. Because it looks like a spaceship. But yeah. Wow! Imagine if that joke actually stuck. You damn. Damn! <laughs> it's the, the moment of truth. The moment of truth. The new processor is in. No you can't switch. see it, obviously, because the coolant system is over top of it. Oh! Oh, it's LEDs. Oh, that's great. That, that's really great for my case. That's just a that black, is, black metal sheet. That is, that is really cool, though. <laughs> I do like that. That is pretty it's neat, yeah. Futuristic. And, uh, you know what, Greg? Why don't you do the honors? Boom! Wow. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna slip my throat with this. Fuck it! Oh! The device is ready. Gang shit. I've had nothing but good experiences with this motherboard. We can talk about the specs and how many different cables that it can hold and all sorts of superfluous details, but really when it comes down to motherboards, what you're looking for is build quality, and I've never had any problems with Asus. If you want this exact motherboard, check out the link in the description to the B&H website. I think I'm gonna get a lot of runtime out of this. For my new processor review, stay tuned. Deuces.